Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 28th of 2022. Well, it is titled RCW 86 historical supernova remnant. So what do we see here? Well, looking in the part of the sky in the constellation of Centaurus, which actually contains the Alpha Centauri system, which is the nearest star to our own sun. And what we see here is the remnant of a star that exploded nearly 2000 years ago, and in fact was noted in 185 AD as a new star that appeared in the sky. And it's quite likely that this is the first at least recorded observation of a supernova the first time one was actually recorded, and its position located that we can still tie in to a remnant left behind today. Now this is actually an example of what is called a type 1a supernova. So there are generally two types. There is a type 2 supernova, which is a massive star which explodes at the end of its life. There is also the type 1, in this case the type 1a supernova, which is a white dwarf star which reaches its limit in mass. And a white dwarf star or any object would have a specific limit as to how much material it can hold before it collapses in on itself. So for example, if you had a, a table and and you started loading heavy books on it, eventually you would put one too many books on it and the table would collapse under the weight of all those books. Well, the same thing happens with a white dwarf star. If you put too much material on it, eventually the pressure of the electrons in the star can no longer hold the star up against gravity and it collapses inward and then explodes outward and in a massive supernova explosion. And here we see the remnant of that left behind the material still expanding out into space from that uh, explosion that occurred nearly 2000 years ago. Now type 1a's are also very important for, to astronomers because they are a way of measuring distances. In order to measure a distance you need something that has a standard brightness sometimes called a standard candle. And that is something that always gets to the same brightness. The one reason that astronomers use these supernovae is that they're all exactly the same type of star that has exploded. They are all a white dwarf star of exactly the same mass, meaning that theoretically they will all reach exactly the same peak brightness. So if we can measure that we know how bright the star truly was. And we can measure how bright it appears to be in the sky. And the difference between those two will allow us to determine the distance to an object. So when we see supernovae in distant galaxies, we can then use them to determine distances to those galaxies. Now, of course, that does not help with this one since it occurred thousands of years ago and is located within our own galaxy. But it is the type of supernova that is still used for, to determine distances today. So that was our picture of the day for May 28th of 2022. It was titled RCW 86 historical supernova remnant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be a galaxy cluster forms. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.